Hello there. In this video lecture, we are trying to learn what is the constraint. So the constraints we are trying to provide to a specific object so that we are trying to restrict the motion of your body. So then what kind of supports is required, what kind of constraints are going to be existed, that's what we are going to be discussing in our video lecture. So I'm going to be taking here is the example when I'm going to be keep a object in a particular space, then what kind of motions it has. So there we can see the object is going to be trying to move towards the left side of the body and towards the, the left side and the right side of the body. At the same time, the body is going to be moving in the upward direction as well as in the downward direction. At the same time, it is going to be more in the circular motion also. So there we can see, suppose you are going to be taking the Cartesian coordinates x, y and z axis. The body has the translatory motion. At the same time, the rotational motion also existed. That means a body is going to be have the six degrees of freedom is going to be existed. But if a specifically engineering objects, when they have the six degrees of freedom, we unable to perform exactly what we required. What is the function we have designed for that? So that's, we need to restrict this kind of the motions. So that's we are going to be discussing here now. So then what will happen in this case? So I'm going to be define what is the constraint here. A body is not always free to move in all the directions. That means we are giving the complete uh, constraint to that. What is the constraint? The constraints are nothing but the restrictions to the free motion of your body in any direction. That means we are giving the restrictions intentionally so that we are arresting the, the motion or the, the displacement of a particular body in a respective direction. That's what I'm saying. The restrictions to the free motion of a body in any direction is called the constraint. So I'm going to take the same definition. I'm going to be uh, explaining with respect to the one uh, example. For this one, I have taken a ball and the horizontal plane I have taken. So then I'm going to be trying to do the little experimentation on that so that I can explain through the graphically. So in this case, first I have taken the horizontal plane, all right? And it has its own uh, mass and all the things. That means the table has the mass, but horizontal surface we have taken as it is. So then I kept a ball on that surface. So in this case, the ball is going to be keeping. The ball has its mass and it is going to be subjected to the gravitation force. It's trying to move in the downward direction. But what will happen in this case, we can see how we are giving the constraints to the ball and the table. So there we can see the ball is going to be freely can move in the in the rightward direction and then it can, can move towards the left side also. At the same time freely it can move in the upward direction. At the same time they can also take the rotational in these directions. But it can't move in the downward directions because that plane is going to be acting like a, a restrictions to the motion of a body in the vertically downward direction. So then what will happen then this plane itself is going to be the constraints to the body in the vertically downward motion. So then what will happen here? So the ball press the plane in the downward for a force equal to its own weight. And the plane in turn must react the ball or exert equal upward forces. So in this case, what will happen? The ball is going to be subjected to its the own weight because of the gravitational force. It is exerting on the horizontal plane. So then the same table also, uh, the horizontal plane is exerting the same force in the reverse directions. So that's what we are going to be say here. It is clear that the ball is applying the force on a horizontal plane is called the action force. On the other hand, the horizontal plane gives equal upward force to the ball is known as reaction force. So there we can see here, the ball is going to be giving the weight, self weight in the downward directions and the reaction force is going to be developing in, from the horizontal plane that's we have shown opposite that reaction force is equal to the action force that is going to be the weight that is r is equal to w in this case so then i can take here if the linear motion of your body is restricted by the supports in one direction the reaction shall be a force in that direction suppose here is the vehicle is moving with the horizontal that means in the translatory direction with a force f so then what will happen? We need to give the same equal amount of the force in the direction so that automatically the body is going to be stopping here. So then in this case, what will happen? The body is going to be moving and here I have applied the constraints. Then how much force we need to apply that is equal to the, the force of the body. Then only the body, the free motions we can restrict here. In another case, what will happen? If the rotation of a body is restricted about a point, the reaction shall be a couple acting on the 
a body about that point. In this case, the rotational body I have taken. So there we can see the body is going to be rotating in this case. So then what will happen if I'm going to be stop the motion, the rotational motion of this object, automatically there is a couple force is going to be generating within the system. So then what we learn and then how we can think about these constraints here. So these are also existed in our daily life also. So these constraints, everything we, we are able to understand with our own experience. So what is the constraint? There is the restrictions we are applying for the free motion of a body in any direction is called the constraint. What is the action? What is the reaction? Suppose we have taken a ball as well as the horizontal plane. The ball is going to be creating an action force on a ball on the table because of the gravitation force. And similarly, the reaction force is going to be generating from that table and it is moving in the upward direction. Then how to develop the constraints for specific applications also we have seen when the body is going to be moving in the translatory directions and all these things we can see.